Mr. Mike Gavish. Okay, you got your blood passed over there. What is that? It comes with the vaccines. Okay, so, yes, they didn't know that. Anyway, there's just some logistical things that I think we're going to probably have to work out. Yeah, it comes with it, but we got it if it doesn't. If it's not there, we got it. Hmm? You ready? Whenever? Uh, you tell me when. Good afternoon. My name is Todd Hancock, and I'm the President and Chief Executive Officer for Christus Good Shepherd Health System. I want to thank you all for being here today as we unveil an exciting new campaign that will really serve as a milestone, uh, another important milestone in our battle against COVID-19. Today we are announcing that Christus Good Shepherd Health System is being named by the state of Texas as a, as a COVID-19 vaccination hub. This designation is in partnership with Gregg County, the state of Texas, and the city of Longview. We will begin this vaccination clinic beginning this Saturday and Sunday, and we will conduct this at uh, the Longview Fairgrounds at the Exhibit Center. The city has been very gracious in making that available, and uh, we will begin scheduling this clinic, which will be free of charge to the public, uh, we will begin scheduling them today via our website that we will unveil shortly. As we begin to think about how we will spread the word about this exciting opportunity for the public to become vaccinated, we wanted a big voice and a big name to associate uh, in a variety of media outlets. And who better than one of Longview's favorite sons, Mr. Neil McCoy. So I'm going to ask country recording artist Neil McCoy to come forward at this time. Neil? Yes, sir. Take your mask off so we can see your face. Thank you. I'm, I'm uh, all these influential folks in here. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> and we're going to unveil this campaign, yes, sir. which I think will, by its name alone, will signify something that I think a lot of Longview and Gray County residents have been wanting to see and hear for some time. So let's unveil, Neil. We're calling this campaign My Shot Now. I know I can speak for myself representing Christus Good Shepherd, and I know all of our public officials can say that uh, that name really resonates with us because we've heard from the public. Uh, they waited patiently. Uh, they want their shot now, and this is their time. And so this marks a very important milestone as we move forward, and this is going to be the mechanism by how we return to normalcy, not only here locally, but regionally, statewide, and nationally. So we, we couldn't be more excited about what this means and about the partnership that it took to get us here today. I want you to pay a special attention to the website that's listed, vaccinate.christus health.org and effective immediately citizens can go to that website and begin to become scheduled we're going to fill that schedule quickly um, this program which is very innovative and we'll talk a little bit more about it and answer all your questions uh, will expect to vaccinate thousands 
of our citizens here in Gregg County over the next weeks and months to come. This is a very sustained effort. Um, it's the first partnership of its kind in our area, um, and we couldn't be more excited about it uh, for our people to be able to begin to get their vaccines. Um, you will see Neil's face associated with this uh, across a variety of media outlets and public service announcements. Neil, thank you so much for yes, lending sir. your good name to this project. Sure you want to say a few words? No, I'm just, I, I know who you're trying to cater this to and, and being a citizen of Gregg County and, and, and Longview, Texas, I've been here quite a while and I don't know if I've gained the faith of anybody, I certainly hope not, but uh, I, I really just want to say encourage people, or maybe not even encourage them to take the shot, but to dig into it. I know everybody, a lot of folks have their reservations, but as a rule, I've, I've taken the first part of it. It was nothing to me. I know it affects different folks different ways, but we're just excited about y'all bringing this in. I know all you guys here are the reason that we've got this opportunity and, and through y'all's hospital and, and all these folks that work for our, our city and our county and our, and our region, uh, we just want to thank you on behalf of all the citizens of Great County. We thank you guys for bringing this to us. Thank you. Yes, I want to say that, that throughout this pandemic, which really began for us in earnest in March, um, you know, out of every crisis comes some things that are terrible and some things that are wonderful. And what has come forward as wonderful is the partnership, uh, the leadership that has been exhibited in this community. And I want to invite up to the lecture Judge Stout, uh, who exhibits just the type of leadership that I'm talking about. Judge Stout, throughout this crisis, has been available to me, to all the healthcare providers in our community, and has expressed almost daily uh, his willingness to help in any way that he could. And this vaccine clinic that we are highlighting today uh, absolutely could not be made possible without his leadership without his generosity, and without all the things that he has brought to the table uh, to absolutely uh, navigate this, this difficult landscape. So with that, I want to invite Judge Stout up to the lectern to say a few words. Man, I love his mask. Thank you, Todd. <clears throat> today we begin the offense. We've been playing defense for a long time, but I think today we're going on the offense. Today I want to join our partners in kicking the countywide My Shot Now program off, a sustainable COVID-19 vaccine program. One of the points that we made when we met with a number of people in Austin was a sustainable vaccine program not once or twice a day, and then come back two or three months later, a sustainable program that we would be able to give shots out month after month after month after month. That is the intent of this program that makes it so much different than what we've done in the past. I'm not gonna get into the total program because I think Todd's covered that. But I do wanna thank some people who have been extremely important in putting this whole thing together. State Representative J. Dean. Without Representative J. Dean's relationships in Austin, he, made, he put together some critical meetings we had to get together with the people that made the decisions to give us a shot to make this presentation that we made. And those were the people who were gonna make that decision as to whether we were gonna get this vaccine or not. And I can tell you, without J. Dean's support, I'm not sure we would be standing here today. I'd also like to thank <clears throat> Todd Hancock, Dr. Bashy, I hope I didn't bash your name too bad, uh, Dr. Anderson of, Kristen, of Christus Good Shepherd. We are very fortunate to have this medical expertise as our partner to bring this project to fruition. I'd like to thank Mary, Mayor Mack and the City of Longview for our close working relationship on many fronts but especially on the COVID-19 front. He and I <clears throat> basically talk just about every day, if not every day and every night. I'd like to thank our emergency operations center personnel, J.P. Stillman with the city of Long Beach Fire Chief, with Mark Moore, who's with our <clears throat> Gray County Emergency Management Group. Both of these gentlemen have worked countless hours developing the vaccine distribution hub 
and how it functions in an orderly process to be able to get as many people as we can vaccinated. I'd like to thank Dr. Brown and A.G. Harris with the Gray County Health Department who have been on the front line in helping on this effort. Today is a good day for Gray County as we continue to fight this virus. I urge people to register. Obviously, you see my shot now. And do it today and continue to watch for it because we plan on this being sustainable. In closing, continue to wear your mask, continue to do social distancing, and do your part in mitigating this virus. It will take all of us, as it has in this room, to put this project together. It will take all of us as a community to get to the other side of this virus. And I think today is a big step toward getting to that day. So at this time, I thank you very much. I thank my partners up here for what they've done. And thank you, Neil, for being our spokesperson. Yes, sir, Josh. Thank you. I want to invite Jay Dean up to the lectern. Um, Judge said it best, but uh, Jay has been an amazing partner. He's represented his constituents extremely well. Uh, there's not one thing throughout this whole crisis that we've asked for that Jay didn't say he would absolutely do his best uh, to accomplish. And certainly I agree with Judge's statements. We wouldn't be standing here today without his considerable influence uh, in Austin and his willingness to do everything he could to bring today uh, to pass. Jay, would you come? Thanks. Well, thank God we have sunshine out there today. Hopefully we're gonna get a little more throughout the day. The sun shining here uh, in this room today too. Make no mistake, in 23, 24 years, I've been in elected office here in Longview. Um, all the great projects Mayor Mack and Judge Stout and myself have worked on, nothing even comes close to this. Our, our number one responsibility is public safety. And there can be no more clearer public safety matter issue than this terrible pandemic that has really ravaged our community. The big important thing we have to do with our citizens is to, un I understand they're the anti-vac crowd out there, I get that. But if we want to turn the tide in our community, in our region, in our state, in our nation, this vaccine is, is the only answer that we have. And I'm excited from what I've seen, Texas, we're the number one vaccinating state in the country. Over a million vaccines already. Have not heard of any negative uh, results as to people receiving this vaccine. So it's extremely important that, you know, when, you're, when you make your uh, appointment, that please come get your shot. If you're an anti-vacker, again, I get that. Don't do it for yourself. Do it for your kids, for your family, for your neighbors, for everybody else. That's what being a patriot's about, is making the sacrifice, even though sometimes you're not 100% bought in, but, but it's to do the right thing for our community. And when we do that, you know, we're gonna see some amazing results. Uh, I'm, I'm proud of the relationships uh, that I've been able to build in Austin, you know, experience after some time helps. And, um, you know, you've given me that opportunity to represent you. And I, I'm very proud just to be one of the spokes in this wheel called My Shot Now. We've got to get this done. We do have a great commitment on, uh, on our a steady supply of vaccine. And quite frankly, we're being called now to be uh, you know, a program that other rural areas of Texas can look at and, and, and follow. But if it was not for, I tell you, when we sat in that uh, huge meeting room with Imelda Garcia and Dr. John Zerwas and some of the other team members of this vaccine, when they saw this public-private collaboration between the partners listed here, had it not been for that fact, this would not be happening. This is a tribute to everybody that's sitting up here that has done their part and will continue to do our part to make sure this is a successful program. Thank y'all, Todd. Thank y'all for the job y'all done.
to underscore what Jay said, you know, this is innovative. This is truly a demonstration project to the state and to the nation. And it is inherently difficult for public and private entities to come together and work in a collaborative way. But due to the complications and the intricacies of administering a program like this, it was absolutely necessary. And the next person I want to invite up to the lectern is our mayor, Andy Mack. Most of you know, in addition to being a mayor, he is a physician. And so Dr. Mack, Dr. Mayor Andy Mack, he is bringing something to this equation that is extremely helpful. Uh, everyone involved in this partnership is playing a significant role. And the mayor has graciously provided uh, city and, and along with the judge county uh, first responder resources alongside Chris's health to be able to administer this vaccine safely and effectively. Uh, his leadership has truly been astounding. Mayor, would you come up? I don't like following you two. <laughs> These guys have done so much, it's unbelievable. And Todd, um, it's, it is truly astounding that we're here today. You guys are just, um, you're, it's a privilege to be a part of this group. Um, on behalf of the city of Longview, I want to thank all the partners here um, for the willingness to work on such an, a significant project. Um, but let's don't sugarcoat it. 2020 was hard, very hard for all of us. For some of us had been closing businesses uh, that took a lifetime to build. Some lost their jobs, struggled to find ways to put food on the table. Sadly, some lost their lives to this deadly virus. As long as mayor, I never dreamed of the challenges we would face this past year. But we faced them together, and with guidance from the county and the state, locally we took actions to keep our community safe and protect the most vulnerable, knowing it would be difficult on our part and on our friends and on our neighbors. And while every hospitalization and death in our region was tragic, I believe our early actions um, as a community helped prevent an even worse outcome. We, we labored over these actions way back in March, and we made decisions that were very tough, and they weren't popular. But as I look back on that, I can't think of any more significant things that we've done with you all's help to um, get ahead of this as much as we could. Uh, I'm proud of the individuals and businesses in the community that practiced responsibility, uh, helped curb the spread of this virus. And I'm proud of our medical community for providing state-of-the-art care, unparalleled, unmatched, unselfish. It's amazing to see the men and women that put their souls on the line every day in the trenches, and I'm telling you they are trenches right now. This is not things that we've seen before in our lifetime and hope we'll never see them again. I'm particularly proud of our first responders, Long Beach Fire Department, Long Beach Police Departments, who have been on the front lines of this pandemic since day one. And I'm proud of the team of the city and staff and county who have helped facilitate COVID-19 testing clinics and the much needed food banks at the Longview Convention and Complex. But I think now we're ready to move forward. So needless to say, I'm excited for today. I'm excited that we're providing thousands of COVID-19 vaccinations every week in our region. I believe this effort is what we need to turn the tide and help us get back to normal. There is a normal still out there. We just have to get back to it. I'm thankful for Christus for stepping up, leading the way, bringing medical expertise to my Shot Now campaign. I'm grateful to Greg County, Judge Stout, grateful to Jay Dean. Jay and I have worked together since I don't even want to say the date. Uh, and I can't tell you how valuable his input and his position is for, for what we are here today doing. Um, such an advocate we have in Austin. I'm confident that our city staff will provide the logistical support required for the effort for this to run efficiently. But now we need y'all's help. I know the choice to get the vaccine is a personal decision for everyone. For me, as a member of our local medical community, I did my research. I chose to get the shot to help protect my family, myself, my patients, and my community. But that's for you to decide. We know there's a huge appetite for this vaccine. But please be patient as this rolls out and spots fill up. Please schedule an appointment. This clinic will not work logistically if people just show up. Remember, you can register to say, I got my shot now. We've been waiting for this day. We've been hoping for a time when there will be light at the end of the tunnel. 
I'm grateful for our community partners, proud of the work the city of Longview has done, and excited that East Texans will have the opportunity beginning this Saturday. Thank you all very much. God bless us all. Throughout this pandemic, it's required a lot of professionals doing a lot of strong work. And I want to highlight a couple of people that are in the room today uh, that have helped lead uh, our clinical response to this pandemic. First of all, Dr. Sam Bakchi is here. He is the chief clinical officer with Christus Health. Uh, not only has he helped lead our efforts here in this community, uh, but he's helped lead for Christus Health, a statewide initiative uh, in, and also in multiple different states that we cover and even internationally. Uh, and so I want to thank Dr. Bagchi for all that he's done uh, on behalf of, of Gregg County and the city of Longview. Thank you, Dr. Bagchi. <laughs> also, a dear friend to many of us in this room uh, who has truly been, um, well, I think he was, he, he had the first patient here in Longview. Uh, and he has been really the, I, I tease him that he's been the face of COVID uh, here in our community but he, has, he knows as much about this illness and this disease and has done as much to help uh, treat so many people in our community. And he has agreed to serve as the medical director for this important vaccine clinic, Dr. John DePasquale. Thank you, John. <laughs> I'd like to ask Dr. Mark Anderson, who many of you have seen. Uh, Mark has become the, uh, I call him the COVID czar. Uh, over this pandemic in East Texas since uh, it began here in March. He has worked tirelessly uh, to develop whether uh, the appropriateness of utilization of therapeutics, uh, our management of uh, PPE, uh, the, the testing capability that we have uh, taken to a new level, and now uh, the vaccine clinic distribution to the general public. So Mark, I would like for you to come forward and say a few words about the safety and the efficacy of our COVID-19 vaccine. Mark. Thank you, Todd. Um, well, as you've heard and you're all aware, this year has been quite a challenge. Um, we're almost a year into the pandemic and we know the challenges that families and communities have faced, or even our healthcare systems have faced. We know, as we heard from Mayor Mack, the devastating effects as we lose loved ones to this disease. Um, to this point, we don't have a magic bullet. We don't have a way to cure this disease. And so we've been faced with simply looking at ways to flatten the curve, to provide social distancing, and to decrease the spread of this disease. Um, because of that, it's really exciting now that we have a new tool. We have a new tool that we can combat this disease with it by vaccination. We can prevent it by something more than washing your hands, wearing a mask, and not coming to work ill. Although we need to continue all those things as we work through this process, we can't forget that. But we know, what we know is the vaccine is safe and it's efficacious. So it's safe, we've administered millions of doses of the vaccine, Chris's Health alone here has administered 45,000 doses with essentially no ill effects from it. So it's a very safe vaccine. We know also if you complete the course of vaccination, and for this vaccine, it's once now and once three weeks from now, 95% of people will mount an immune response and be able to have antibodies and immune response that can fight the effects of this disease. So what we hope to see is that by this, we can decrease the hospitalizations, particularly among those that are most affected by it, that have those risk factors that result in hospitalizations, ICU stays, long stays on ventilators and death. So with that, uh, we are going to be opening this vaccine hub, uh, particularly under the state requirements that we offer it to those 1A and 1B categories. Those are frontline healthcare workers, uh, patients and residents of long-term care facilities, everyone over 65 years of age, and anyone 16 years of older uh, or older that have comorbid conditions, things like diabetes, obesity, heart disease, lung disease, everyone should get it in order to be able to stop the spread of this disease. Now, uh, as you've heard, it's not gonna be a walk-in process. The numbers we're talking about administering for this through this hub are very large, and we hope it continues to grow. So with that, I'm gonna make sure I get it right. You can visit vaccinate.christushealth.org to get your appointment set up. Please make an appointment. 
please, we will help you walk through the process to determine if you're eligible or not. If you need further information, you can also call 877-335-5746 and we'll help you with that process. We want everyone within Northeast Texas to get vaccinated if they're eligible for it now. And eventually, as we get more vaccine, we want to uh, be able to provide it for even more patients and residents of our communities. You know, it's the purpose and mission of Christus Health to extend the healing ministry of Jesus Christ. And how better to do that by offering a tool that can protect the most vulnerable in our communities. We're very excited to be a partner with our local and state uh, officials and representatives so that we can come together and really extend that healing ministry and do the work of Jesus Christ and be able to protect our communities. So thank you. It's an exciting opportunity. Please get your vaccination if you're able. Uh, please, uh, if you're eligible, we want to see everybody there. Thank you very much. Thank you to everyone that spoke and has certainly represented not only this day, but this important effort very, uh, very well. Um, we want to open up now to some questions and uh, we'll direct the questions to anyone um, on our panel that can answer them. I'm curious. Now that Red County has a vaccine hub, we know the state has been focusing on these hubs as far as supply goes. Uh, do we have any idea moving into the future if these doses will be allocated weekly? Uh, and there will, in fact, be doses coming along each and every week for the near future? You bet. So that was one of the critical pieces for all of us who traveled down to Austin to meet with the state, is that we had all experienced being able to offer one-time clinics that were never, frankly, uh, adequate for us. Uh, but we wanted this to be a sustained effort. And we believe that's what we've accomplished here today. We believe that it is going to be a sustained and steady supply of vaccine uh, that we'll be able to administer. Um, one thing I want to say to the, to the public that's trying to access this, our experience is that these appointments will fill up very fast. Uh, but I want you to fear not because we're going to go out four weeks in terms of the schedule. And if you don't get in in week one or two, you're certain to get in in weeks three or four. So this is going to be a very sustained effort. And that was very important to us. And I'm curious, are you only going to book appointments for the doses that you know you have? For instance, you know, over the weekend, the allocation amount came out for this week. Will you be booking appointments even for future weeks without knowing the exact allocation amounts just yet? We think we know the exact allocations, at least the baseline for it. So it is our stated goal here, and we believe this is based on our agreement with the state, to administer three to 4,000 first doses of the Pfizer vaccine every week. Obviously, if you get out to week three or four, that num number is going to double. So this vaccination clinic will then be vaccinating six to 8,000 uh, of our citizens a week with first and second doses. How do y'all plan on So this will not be a, a walk-in clinic in the sense that you will have to be scheduled, so you can't just show up. Uh, we have to report all of this information to the state and federal government, so it needs to be very organized. That's why we're directing everyone that wishes to be vaccinated to this website. Uh, it works very well. Uh, one of the things that, that we hope will seem very uh, simple and easy to the public is how well this will work. It is powered by Christus's investment with the Epic platform. It, it will do a very nice job of getting everyone. It's very easy to use, very easy to navigate, and I think the public will, will find that to be the case. As far as the process of actually getting the shots in New Orleans, is it going to be a net health pass with a drive through clinic, or is it going to be a, a different kind of process, a line, or you walk into a building? How's that going to work? So you'll have your appointment armed with that appointment you'll know exactly what time to be there uh, and that's where our partnership with the city and the county come in um, jp steelman um, who is a quiet hero uh, behind this story uh, is very experienced whether it be hurricanes or anything else it, it, it moving people and so the, the city and the county will help move everyone safely and effectively through a line uh, the whole process uh, will take probably no more than 30 minutes there is a 15 minute wait time after you're vaccinated to make sure that you don't have any type of negative reaction. But we expect and have already experienced 
uh, with, with our vaccination program that people will move very fast through this process. Who's actually giving the shots? The shots will, for at least the beginning of this, and this is a sustained effort over the next weeks and months, uh, so we will be inviting other volunteers from our nursing schools and uh, from other health care providers in the community. But this uh, inaugural weekend will be administered by first responders with the county and the city. And do you know which is it Moderna or Pfizer that you're getting or makes of both? We're getting the Pfizer vaccine. How are you going to, uh, obviously, you know, Pfizer requires the ultra cold temperatures. Uh, what does the transportation process, you know, from the, the hospital or wherever the freezer may be to the actual vaccination site? How's that going to work logistically? You know, that's, that was one of the things that came up in our meeting, and, and the state was very encouraged uh, by our ability to be able to handle this vaccine. As you all know, it can be a little tricky. Uh, so it does have certain uh, requirements in terms of not only the temperature that it's stored at, but how you actually thaw, unthaw the vaccine, and how you administer it and prep it for uh, distribution. So we've been able to demonstrate um, our effectiveness with that. I think Dr. Anderson said, Christus has administered almost 50,000 vaccines in the state. And so the state was very confident that we could do that in a safe and effective way. I think that's probably gonna wrap it up from the, from the podium. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, we can break off into some, some separate interviews, but uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.